automatically holding its poison and the remote I am not controlling it actually. I am not looking at it also. So in this video I am going to reveal my 5 year old A450 quadcopter which I had made out of DJI NASA M Light flight controller. This is not a digital tutorial video. Actually I had made this drone during my school days uh, when I was in class 11 and now I had completed my BTEC on electronics so now it's time to rebuild it and fly it all the electronics remote esc motors flight controller solar are working perfectly fine so now let's reveal the drone and i will show you also the test flight end of the video so please stay tuned this is my five years old dji nasa m light flight controller made a 450 quadcopter as you can see it is very dusty because for last four years i had not flown it so now i'm going to rebuild this drone and i will fly it again as you can see, this is the DJI NASA Evlight flight controller here. It is very dusty and these all four motors are working perfectly fine till now and the ESC is also. The flight controller I had connected with my laptop and it's responding properly. I had bought new battery for the drone as you can see here. This is a 3300 mAh orange LiPo battery from Robo and also i bought some new pairs of propellers for the drone these are my favorite white color 10 inch propellers 1045 propellers for specifically these motors these motors shaft are 6 mm and also had two cuts that's why these propellers and this is a gps stand for this because the old gps stand is very hard now so i will replace the gps stand and also there are many other parts like zip ties extra arm for backup and all other things xc60 connector and these are four rechargeable double batteries and charger for this old radio controller <laughs> yes it is more older than this drone it's around six years old but it uh, still works perfectly fine this is fs i6 i had upgraded it uh, on 10 channel so let's reveal this drone and fly it again so let me show you now how much i had done today this is my drone fully assembled as you can see there are four arms with four escs and four motors and this is our main flight controller this is dji nasa m light as you can see and this arrow should face the forward section of the drone so as you can see here it's uh, facing this side that's why these two red arms are actually the front side of the drone and these two white arms are the back side of the drone that's why this uh, arrow is facing this one uh, this is the forward section and this is the power module of the dji nasa m light i had uh, soldered the power module with the uh, positive and negative pad of the escs and this is the signal cable of the power module which will go in this uh, x3 section so i have to connect it here i will connect it later and i had also soldered all escs positive and negative with the pdb pdb means power distribution board so tomorrow i will uh, attach this all escs with the flight controller i will attach the radio receiver which is actually this one i will attach this uh, radio receiver as you can see in the flight controller here are a e t r this means this is aileron elevator throttle radar the first second third and fourth uh, port of the receiver and then here is auxiliary to select the mode and x1 x2 x3 x1 is for headless mode on or off x2 is for maybe the gimbal and x3 for the power module as i had told before these are the uh, cables which will connect the flight controller with the receiver so i have to also clean this thing properly and as you can see the drone body is fully cleaned it took me around two and a half hour and actually i am going to use this large size 10 channel receiver for this drone because in this drone i will later attach dropping system and other things like camera gimbal for those purposes we need another channels so that's why i am going to use this receiver this time before this six channel small receiver was connected with this so this is the plan for now these are two other most important modules for dji nasa light this one is a third party m6 gps 
which actually use in GPS mode to hold altitude return to launch and other purposes and this is our light module for design as M light this is RGB LED which indicates the status of the flight controller and on this LED module there is the programming cable here as you can see USB B type using this we have to program the flight controller tomorrow I will attach this all thing together and I will assemble the full drone and program it then it will be ready to fly and this is the receiver I had installed battery on it and as you can see it's turning on properly perfectly fine each and every channel is working good let me show you this is the display and if I bring to throttle here all channels are down and make them up here and all channel value are in the maximum and these others are for this buttons as you can see so this radio is also working perfectly fine this radio is around six to seven years old i had bought this remote when i was in my class nine maybe i bought this from delhi chandni chok and it cost me around 3500 rupees that time these transceivers are uh, more or less same price nowadays also in Chadani Chok in online they are a bit costly so it's working also perfectly fine currently I am testing each and every motor and I had also calibrated my all ESCs as you can see here my drone is fully disassembled but I had connected two XG60 connectors with the power distribution board through this power distribution board our each and every ESCs are getting power from this single LiPo battery in future I will connect two 3300 mAh batteries parallel for this drone that's why I had connected this two XG60 connector with 2.5 millimeter thick electrical wire and now this uh, receiver is connected with this motor csc and here is our rc transmitter if i throttle it up as you can see the motor is rotating and we can also control the speed of the motor here so in this way our all motors and all escs are working perfectly fine these are around five years old and i had not expected this much but still uh, during the first flight I have to be a bit concerned if any motor or ESC fails so I have to check those out later so now uh, let's uh, assemble our drone and connect all other peripherals like GPS uh, light module and receiver also I have to place the receiver here in this way with uh, dual side tape or wall tape whatever you can say so let's do it now as you can see I had fixed for landing gears here and this is the RC receiver I had also connected it with the DJI NASA Light flight controller and all four motors ESC are connected with the flight controller this one is the motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 all ESCs are connected with the M1, M2, M3 and M4 port of the DJI NASA Light the LED module is connected with the flight controller this is the LED module port and now I will attach the GPS module on the EXP port and then I will attach the top lid of it and then it will be ready for programming. This is the third party Neo 6M GPS for DJI NASA M light and I had connected the GPS lead with the EXP port here as you can see. So the GPS is ready to use now. Now I have to close the top lid here. We had also installed the GPS and our total assembly is completely ready now we have to program it and then we will take it a fast test flight after a long four years so after a long four years i am going to rearm this Six. motor i had connected the battery this indicator light is glowing here okay turn on the remote change the mode into altitude hold now arm it okay all motors are okay and rotating in the perfect direction now i have to go to outside for its flight So as you can see we had reached our testing location 
in this location i am going to fly this drone and i will show you how it actually flies after four year i am going to fly this drone in outdoor so this is our location i hope you will get a good quality flight video Again. So currently, I am not touching the remote as you can see and the drone is in GPS hold mode. In spite of small wind, the drone is automatically holding its position and the remote I am not controlling it actually. I am not looking at it also. So DJI Nasa Imlight is super reliable as you can see. So this was the majestic flight performance of DJI Naza Imlight. Flight test is already done. This is our drone. And Soikot came with me to click photos and videos. As you can see, now he is recording some other photos. So all thanks goes to Soikot for those beautiful shots. I am going to conduct a lots of experiment with this drone in future and I will upload videos as well as uh, at first, I will show you the return to launch accuracy of DJI Naza Imlight using GPS. Then I will install my DIY FlySky voltage sensor on this drone so that we can monitor the drone's live battery voltage on the display of the FlySky radio. Then I will make a servo based 3D printed dropping mechanism for my drone so that I can drop my RC gliders uh, from this drone. And I will also make my own telemetry system using GPS, barometric sensor and SIM800L module. So if you want to watch those videos, please do subscribe and stay with me. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. If you have any queries, question or suggestion, anything regarding this video, the comment section is open. You can uh, let me know there or you can directly message me on Instagram. I am active on Instagram. My Instagram handle is already in the description box. You can follow me on Instagram and if you are interested on these things, uh, please do subscribe my channel. It will help me a lot. Hi, I am Akash Bhag, call sign Victor Uniform No. 3 Hotel of X-Ray. I am an electronics and communication engineer and a licensed ham rated operator also. I used to make videos on microcontrollers, microprocessors, RC hobby, drones, RC planes, ham radio, antenna and these kind of stuffs. If you are interested to make this kind of projects using which you can easily control your room lights or appliances, IoT kind of stuffs or RF stuffs, you can do consider subscribe my channel. I will let you know how to make this kind of cool projects. So that's it for today. See you on another video. Bye.